Although they did go to Liz Truss's event. What was that called? I've learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's make Britain grow again, that was um, called. Let's remove this growth. <laughs> this woman no shame <laughs> the conference did last longer than her premiership so. <laughs> but why is Nigel Farage there what's he doing at the conference what does it mean well he's taken over the party some people say he's going to be leader he's going to become no. A... No. leader of no, what I well, it's the conservative that. party he'll come in as leader you're just trying to scare people late no. at night <laughs> It's the sort of froggy charisma of the man. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is what's being said, and I tell you what, some Conservatives are delighted because of his electoral attributes. How did this man, Gawain Towler, former UKIP aide, how did he explain Farage's appeal? Well, first of all, he was very annoyed because he was raised from the dead. <laughs> This is the poster boy for Rishi's anti-smoking campaign, all right? <laughs> this is what he's doing. It's quite the turn of phrase. He explained Nigel Farage's appeal. Oh, right, did he? Go on, I'd love to hear it. All right. As I say, brace yourselves, he told the Politico website, Nigel Farage has this unerring ability to touch the clitoris oh. of public opinion. <laughs> Five buckets. 